In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started researching the topic you've chosen off of your professor's list. So for the example I'm going to use, I'm going to research the artist Takashi Murakami and um, how his art relates to the pop art movement. And the first thing I always recommend for every student to do is we live in the 21st century. You can easily Google your artist to see even if you're interested in their work or not. Right, so here's a little Google search I did limited to images about Takashi Murakami. And I don't know if you recognize any of his work. He's got some pieces up in LA that you can go see at a bunch of different museums around town. Um, so he's interesting to me as an artist. Um, the other thing that you should do is you should always consult with your textbook. You've got the Asian art textbook. Um, start at your textbook first to look at your topic. Um, because that'll give you some background information or an overview about the topic, and it will help you decide whether or not you're going to be interested in researching it more. Um, once you've done that, if you're looking for some more basic information, background about your topic, I'd like to recommend some sources for you. So I'm on the um, research guide or the web page I made for your class, and if I click on the Understand Your Topic tab, if you scroll down, you'll see some resources that we're recommending for that kind of research. The one I'll show you right now is called Grove Art Online, and it is an online encyclopedia of art and artists. So it's a good place to start. And it's really easy to use. In my um, example, I'm going to just search for the artist by his name. And I can see the first result is all about my artist. And it's just giving me like a little overview about the artist, um, what kind of art he's known for, some places where his work has been shown. And um, when you scroll down, you'll see a bibliography or books about the artist. Um, there's a link here that says find it at your library. And if I right click, I can launch a search in our library catalog. Um, this book we don't have, so don't, don't worry, I'll show you how to search the catalog in another video, but you can do that um, as well going down the bibliography for whatever artist that you're looking at. Um, sometimes there'll be other aspects of the topic that you might not be familiar with, um, maybe like a time in history or an event, and if you want to research that, you can click on Gail eBooks and that'll take you into a set of online encyclopedias, kind of akin to Wikipedia, and that'll help you get a little more background information about your topic before you start searching. Because what you're looking for at this time is you're looking for, you know, um, who is your artist, when were they alive, um, if you're looking at a certain type of art, you want to know who were the famous artists, what were the famous works, when was it created, and then, um, what does that piece of art tell you about the culture in which it was created, right? That's one of the questions that your professor is asking you to explore in this paper. Um, so you're really trying to, at this point in the game, kind of get some basic information so that you've got some more um, keywords that you can search for when you look for things like books. And in the next video, I'll show you how to look for books. I know a lot of students really don't want to look for books, but a lot of the best research in art history is housed inside books. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use our library catalog to find books. Um, and then after that, we'll look at some articles. So if you click on the next tab that says find books, you'll see another video.